here in Kigali, Rwanda, Marajo. Uh, my fun fact today is that in the next 24 hours, I will probably be forced to speak six languages uh, here in Rwanda, Kina Rwanda, and French, some English. Uh, we'll land in Kenya, some Kiswahili, simple asante, to say thank you, things like that. And then we will arrive in Juba, where we'll speak some Juba Arabic, and then some Larim, as there's somebody there um, from our village. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's life as a as a minister cross cultural. One of the challenges, but one of the joys. Um, I'm actually here at a friend's house in Kigali, a friend from university um, up at Niagara, at his family's house, enjoying a break. It's been very um, restful, but also I feel like, yeah, it almost just feels like I'm starting to rest and. Yeah, but it's good. It's needed. Uh, I feel that by the end of time in La Rim, um, just, yeah, simple decisions are challenging in a context that, yeah, maybe I don't understand fully still. Um, yeah, we charge cell phones for people in our village and, and yeah, just little decisions can be challenging to say yes or no, or um, even people coming for meals, asking for soap or water, things like that. Um, I wish it was easier, uh, but I find myself pretty ready for break. Um, at least now, but also still continue to be filled with joy uh, for what we have a mission that we have uh, to be able to share the great news of um, Jesus offering redemption and reconciliation as well as eternal life to all. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's where we're at. Uh, I want to give thanks to you guys. Um, I don't know why, but Mantra Zion is at the top of my uh, giving statement every month. And so... Yeah, you guys give generously, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much. Um, I can't be here without supportive individuals and churches and people who are committed to taking the gospel to the ends of the earth, um, and that includes you, people who believe in Jesus, people who are, are for good um, and want to see good done, um, whether that's through just incarnational living, playing soccer, sharing, being able to uh, give medicine, little medicine, washing people's cuts, things like that, um, as well as the proclamation of God's word among the Larim. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Um, you guys are an encouragement all the time uh, to see, yeah, notes from you guys, but also, yeah, just your giving, um, especially in the time of a pandemic. Um, yeah, it's not easy to give and to continue to trust the Lord, but uh, he is worthy of our trust in the midst of political changes and in the midst of New Year's and in the midst of viruses, uh, the King of Kings is worthy of our trust. Um, yeah, I've recently been memorizing Psalm 18, 1 to 3, and there's a part in there it says, the Lord who is worthy of praise. And it's kind of just a, a speaking of the attributes of God, our rock, our fortress, our deliverer, the, the horn of our salvation, our shield. Yeah, he is good. He is, he is all these things. He is our strength. Um, and I think that's true all the time. And so that's, that's where we put our hope and our trust. And, um, so yeah, I encourage you guys with that as well. Thank you, um, for encouraging me. And I hope I can encourage you at the same time. Um, yeah, I guess I'll share something that's been coming up lately, even maybe a few weeks ago. And something that I'm very hopeful for, for this new year is, um, our Sunday gathering, so maybe a few weeks ago, we started trying to gather on Sunday mornings to share God's word and to sing and to pray with La Rim. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's been up and down, I think generally somewhat discouraging. Um, but I, I say that because one, uh, yeah, I don't need to be discouraged. Um, and there's so much hope and there's a call to faith in the Lord that actually is really, um, yeah, a good thing to confide in, a really hopeful thing, a really, um, yeah, it's a promise. There's promises given by the Lord that we can hang on to. Um, and so I've been brought to some of that, but it's also good because, yeah, just to have one or two or three people come and hear God's word and sing together, um, yeah, it is glorious. And uh, when I think about what we get to do to take the gospel to uh, people who have never heard it, uh, it is glorious that God's word is proclaimed and and God's word says that when his word is shared, that it will never come back uh, void. It will never not accomplish what he has purposed it for. Um, and so that's good news. But yeah, I think what I've been brought to in this is like the first week I'm sitting there just waiting 
And uh, multiple times I've, I've sat and waited as I hope people will come or maybe I walked with somebody and they left or, or maybe they were there, but it's like, what is their intention? Um, and I think I can so easily be drawn to uh, confidence in worldly things or uh, confidence in numbers or confidence in, I don't know, just, yeah, something that I can grasp. Uh, but I've been, yeah, forced to trust in the Lord. And I think he convicted me of that one morning, just saying like, now, do you, do you have faith to believe that I can do this, that I can, yeah, bring the church of Larim, uh, yeah, to being, um, and, and I think I do, but I think it just takes sometimes being pushed to a place, uh, of acknowledging that and really, yeah, pressing in and trusting. Um, yeah, Hebrews 11 talks about, uh, faith being the confidence in what we do not see and this hope, this, this is very like practical thing, even though it's intangible, um, and that's what God commends his people for. And so I want to do that. And I ask that you would join me in hope, in faith, that God would continue to raise up the church of the Larim, particularly as we gather on Sunday mornings and ring the bell in the morning and sit and wait and sing these songs about Jesus. Anita do, Jesu, Anita do. Yeah, it's a very rough voice on my end, but these words of only you, Jesus, that has now become a header in my newsletters is good news uh, that Jesus is the only way to heaven. And we get to sing these songs and proclaim his word uh, every Sunday morning. So would you hope and pray with me that uh, that would be something God would use to draw people to himself among the Larim? Um, yeah, I'll continue to send updates via email. I think the church is uh, forwarding those to you and I'll include prayer requests. Um, but yeah, I'm grateful for you. I'm continued to, yeah, be filled with hope. I continue to be filled with the hope of the gospel in my own life and for the Larim. Uh, and I'm excited for year two. Um, so here we go. Thank you guys. I love you. And maybe I'll see you in a year. Bye.